Peabody Energy, the world's largest private sector coal company serving customers in 25 countries on six continents. Peabody sells both metallurgical coal used to make steel and thermal coal, which is used to generate electricity. Joining me now to talk more about his business and the state of coal demand, Peabody Energy Chairman and CEO Greg Boyce. Good to see you, Mr. Boyce. Thanks very much for joining us. Good morning, Maria. It's good to be with you. First, given you are in the electricity and energy business, your thoughts on what we know uh, occurred over the weekend with Russia acquiring Crimea. Well, I think what's interesting from the energy business, Maria, is that it puts a sharp focus on the fact that we have to have a better discussion around energy supply globally, uh, because there's no question that geopolitics are so much a basis of energy supply and demand. One of the interesting things you were talking about natural gas, it's going to raise a discussion in this country about the export of natural gas, um, because the only way for Europe and the rest of the world to be more, um, uh, have more of an ability to use gas is if there's multiple sources, which means the U.S. surplus of gas, we're going to have to have a national discussion around how much of that we export. Yeah, it's a great Ultimately, yep. it, ultimately it all comes back to my business, coal, and coal has been the fastest growing fuel in the world. These are the reasons why it continues to be the fastest growing fuel in the world. It's dispersed, it's, it's, it's easy to transport, it's low cost, and it eliminates risks around the geopolitics. Let, let, let me get your take on, on what happened to coal and the market given the slowdown in China. We know that the economic landscape has changed or is changing. Has that impacted your business? Well, interestingly enough, China in the first two months of this year hit record imports for coal. Um, and globally, coal demand continues to rise. The markets right now are impacted by strong supply. Uh, a lot of new production was built when coal prices were very high, typical commodity cycle. We're working that oversupply off. But demand through this entire time frame, Maria, has continued to grow. And we just saw this morning uh, that China's announced a massive infrastructure building program through 2020, new roads, highways, airports, bridges, subways, that all takes steel, and all of that will require a continued increase in electricity generation build, which is going to come predominantly from coal. What is the process of that uh, generation uh, with regard to clean coal? Because the environmentalists are still uh, upset by the, the usage of coal because of, uh, of, of the dirty pol pollution around it. Well, as you know, Murray, we've launched, uh, Peabody has launched our Advanced Energy for Life campaign. And that campaign is designed to elevate the discussions around the use of today's current state-of-the-art coal technologies, which are far cleaner than coal use has ever been, uh, and then the development of the next generation. Because right now, we've got 3.5 billion people globally that don't have access to electricity. We've got half the children in the developing world that go to school with zero electricity. And if we're going to meet the Millennium Goals for poverty eradication, if we're going to meet our environmental goals, whether that's clean water, uh, electricity for health, and uh, lower carbon emissions, we're going to have we to got, do that we, with we got to get to the president.